Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're again talking about iOS 16. It looks like iOS 16 is finally done. It is over. The development of iOS 16 has now finished and of course it's ready for release. But how do we know that? Let's get into all that. Let's talk about this and some more things that you need to know regarding this update. Before we talk about that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I would really appreciate if you would take the time to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed. So let's get into this. Now we're talking here about a report from Mark Grumman. He says that Apple has finished developing iOS 16 and now it's ready for release in September. So what that means is that the current state in which iOS 16 is right now with beta 6, that's most likely a very, very similar version of what we will get when it gets released to the public. Of course, we will get some more betas, probably a couple more betas than the RC version, but don't expect any major changes or features added to iOS 16 with these two betas that are left before we go to the RC and of course then the public release. So this right here is a report from Mark Grumman and now of course Apple will move on to creating iOS 16.1. We're going to talk about that later on and of course when, when can we expect that software to go on beta. So according to Mark Grumman, iOS 16 is ready to go and of course we can expect it in September. Now this is of course not all good news. The awesome things that I think we will miss and of course have not been added to iOS 16, some features that Apple has talked about which are really interesting but are not here yet and of course won't be with the initial release of iOS 16. So let's talk about that. Now first of all of course we have live activities. Live activities has been presented by Apple at WWDC 2022 but it looks like it won't make it with the initial release of iOS 16. We will most likely have to wait for iOS 16.1 or even iOS 16.2 to get live activities on our devices. Now Apple has actually released the API for live activities which means that devs now can start creating their live activities for their apps which means that we most likely will get that very soon probably with 16.1 or 16.2. Next we're talking about the game center. Now here are two really cool features that Apple talked about in WWDC 2022 but of course we didn't see them on the betas of iOS 16 and will most likely not be released on September. First of all is share play support for Game Center. Now that basically uses Game Center and share play integration to let you start playing automatically with friends while on the FaceTime call. That's really cool. And we also have contacts integration. So basically contacts will show your friends Game Center profile. So the Game Center profile of those that you have friends on Game Center and you have them on the contacts will be shown right there on the contacts card. Those are also two features that won't make it to iOS 16. Now here is another thing that I have been expecting Apple to do but they didn't do. Add the ability to actually add widgets on the lock screen and still keep the depth right there. That would be really cool. Now these are two of the best features of the lock screen on iOS 16. Of course the widgets and it will have that depth effect on the clock right there. But you cannot actually use them both at the same time and that's really really bad. Now you can see what I have here that clock there looks really cool but if I just add a widget you can see now it's gone. That effect will be gone and won't be shown on the lock screen if I just go ahead and add one widget. That's really bad and of course it looks like it will stay that way. And now that we know that iOS 16 is actually ready to be released to the public, the awesome features that have been removed from iOS that we really hoped would be back. One of them, live wallpapers. There are no more live wallpapers on iOS. So here we have all the wallpapers of course, we have the new weather and astronomy wallpapers, the emojis, we have collections here, but there are no live wallpapers anymore on iOS. That's really really bad. Also with iOS 16, every beta I was hoping that we will get more new wallpapers. This is the only new wallpaper that we got on iOS 16 and of course we got the old fish wallpaper but that's not really that cool. 
and they don't also have dark mode at all. That's also really, really bad. Any wallpaper on iOS 16 that you have on your device won't have a dark mode. There's only one right here, I believe it was, one of the dynamic wallpapers. It looks like that's gone as well here on the collections. So there you go, there are no dark mode wallpapers on iOS 16, and it looks like it will stay that way. And not only that, Apple has also removed perspective zoom on the wallpapers on the lock screen. That was actually really cool and was added with beta 4, I believe it was beta 4 or beta 5, one of those, and it has been removed with the latest beta. So if you just tap here, it doesn't matter which wallpaper you're using, you won't have the option to enable perspective zoom. And while we're here, the percentage of battery on the lock screen while they're charging, that's gone as well. So you know, on iOS 15, whenever you're plugging your device to charge, you will get the percentage right here. Now, of course, we have now the percentage on the status bar, but not everyone actually has that. So a lot of people that have iPhones like the 12 mini or 13 mini won't actually have the percentage on the status bar and won't even have it on the lock screen while charging their device. Another feature that I was really hoping we're getting back with iOS 16 with basically Another feature that has been missing since the release of iOS 16, I was really hoping Apple will bring that back, is the ability to zoom in, actually fill in the screen with a video on the default iOS video simply by double tapping on it. So on iOS 16, you actually have to do this, pinch in and out in order to do that, and you cannot do that with a double tap. And now that we're done talking about the bad things of iOS 16, some features that are missing, some that have been removed, and some that are actually not coming with the initial release, let's talk a bit about battery and performance. Now, as it stays right now, I'm glad with the battery life that I'm getting on iOS 16. This is, as I said again at the beginning, this will be very likely this very similar to the version that will be released to the public. We will only get like minor fixes and improvements in the couple of next betas. And of course, then the public release will be very, very similar to this update that we have right now. So battery life is actually quite good. Here's what I'm getting on my device at 89% at battery health, 12 Pro Max here. So we have around like maybe 95% battery right there. You can see we have on screen six hours, 53 minutes, while we had off screen one hour, 31 minutes. And of course we have others here as well with like 130% battery got about the same time. Of course, this will depend on what you're doing on your iPhone, whether you're using cellular data or not, or using Wi-Fi. But again, the battery life is quite solid on iOS 16 and probably will be even better with the next updates. Now, when it comes to the scores on Geekbench, we got some pretty good scores as well. It has actually been quite consistent since the beginning, since the first beta on iOS 16. Here we have some different scores right here. You can see from the release of iOS 16, we got the scores here, which are pretty much the same. It has improved on the last couple of betas quite a bit, and it's actually quite good. So performance, stability, and battery are actually really good. And even if they stay this way, even on the public release, I would be glad. And now let's talk about the release. It's actually very, very close. The reports are that Apple is holding their new event for the iPhone 14 on September 7th. That means that that date will, will, will most likely get the RC version of iOS 16. And then the release on Monday, September 12th. That's the day I expect Apple to release iOS 16 to the public, as of course on the 16th, the new iPhones will be shipped. And what we're left with here is another beta, most likely later today, and then another one next week. And then of course, right here, the RC version. So we have another couple of betas, the RC version, and then the public release of iOS 16. All this will happen, of course, in about three weeks from now. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.